How's it going guys, it's your Deep here and it's time for episode number one of my new Live the Life NHL 14 series and we are back with Mikkel Pedersen. Uh, if you do are a subscriber since NHL 13, you know what I, who I'm talking about and uh, you're probably looking forward to this because uh, he did, Mikkel Pedersen basically, uh, if you want to rewatch his first season in the NHL, uh, just take a look at the uh, playlist that I will post in the description, but uh, basically... I'm just gonna be talking over this. It'll be uh, the first episode's kind of be an introduction, and uh, you can see uh, you may be wondering why I'm showing a guy named Alexi Vanyu, and I'll just talk about it. If you don't want to watch the whole uh, his whole rookie season in uh, NHL 13, uh, then uh, I'll just give you a summary basically. So Mikko Pedersen was born in Denmark, uh, and he had a twin, and uh, pretty much that twin ended up turning to be Alexi Vanyu, and he didn't know. Alexi Vagno at all until they met into in the Memorial Cup when uh, right when they were taking a face off they looked exactly the same so uh, from then on something started to happen and uh, it was revealed right before the draft that uh, they were twins so Mika Pedersen ended up going first to the Edmonton Oilers after the Memorial Cup but uh, Alexi Vagno did end up winning the Memorial Cup with the Edmonton Oil Kings and uh, so Mikko Pedersen went first, Alex Ivanio went second. Uh, Mikko Pedersen in his uh, first season in the NHL ended up finishing with uh, 59 goals and 9 assists. And uh, he won the Calder, tro Calder uh, Trophy and the uh, Rocky Richard. So uh, a very, very solid season for him. Alex Ivanio was uh, at a point per game pace until he got injured and ended up uh, missing around, uh, I guess, a third of the season. And uh, so that did uh, kind of hurt his prog progression, but... He's still a very, very good player. And basically, these guys, uh, scouts are saying they are going to be like Gretzky and Lemieux pretty much. And uh, so I'm just showing you the settings because I'm going to ask you a couple questions what you guys want to see. But uh, yeah, be a pro settings will be authentic. Everything superstar. And uh, so yeah, Miko Pedersen ended up going to the play, finding, getting in in the last day of the season, getting into eighth spot with uh, Edmonton. And um, they were able to actually beat the Minnesota Wild, who are in first, who are the first seed, uh, in five games. Then Chicago, who is the second seed in five games, and then uh, finally they were able to. Uh, uh, they lost against the eventual Saint Stanley Cup champions, the St. Louis Blues, in six. But uh, Michael Pedersen had a very, very great uh, playoffs. I think he averaged around ten points per series for so around two points per game. And uh, as you can see, we're he's going to we're going to jump into the uh, first game here. Miko Pedersen was going to play on the third line, an 85 overall uh, sniper right there. And uh, he's pretty much a, a very solid player, just like Alexi Vagno. Alexi Vagno may be a little bit more defensively uh, uh, in in terms of defense, he might be a little bit better. But Miko Pedersen is definitely a, a force to be reckoned with. A amazing uh, first uh, season, but after. So much deliberation, he decided, you know what, he wants to uh, at least double or triple his assist total. And he gets his first assist here of the season with uh, to Alishemsky, a nice pass there. And uh, Miko Pedersen is a offensive specialist with a wicked shot. Uh, with those 59 goals, a lot of them were scored from uh, the the slot, which is called Miko Pedersen's office by uh, Edmonton Oilers fans. And uh, basically, when he cuts inside from the right, from the right boards into the middle, and he shoots something like around here. That's where he uh, excels the best. And he scored at least 30 of his goals later on. You can see Taylor Hall. But this is the season opener. Uh, I kind of just played it just to have some gameplay in here. Uh, but I'm wondering what you guys want to see in terms of like how the game's set up. Because uh, I could either uh, have it where... Uh, with Miko Pedersen where I can have it like... I don't know how to say this, but... I, I can do it like Johnny where I'm commentating because it will be easier and I get, could get a lot more episodes out. Now I don't want to do three games per episode. What I'm planning to do is maybe like, yeah, three periods, three games. But uh, in between each game I sim two so we can get this through the seasons faster, through the playoffs faster, and uh, through his career faster. And hopefully by the end of NHL 14, I mean he'll be able to uh, play like uh, we'll be able to consider him a Hall of Famer by the end of it. We'll go through the questions. It'll be a little bit more interesting. Uh, it won't take me as long to edit because it'll just be live comms, which are actually easy to put together because you just comment, render, and and upload. So uh, you, I could have this a lot more often than uh, how I did in NHL 13, where sometimes I went a week without it. So uh, 
just wondering about opinions in terms of how you guys want to see this. Uh, as you can see in, our, in his first game, Miko Pedersen registers assists and 12 hits. And, 12, and Miko Pedersen, trust me, he is a fighter. He uh, actually became third in penalty mitts in the uh, league. So uh, with that, that's pretty much going to be it for episode one. Just a little uh, talking about his storyline. Once again, if you want to see the, his first season in the NHL, just check out the uh, playlist in the description. And uh, it'll have everything there. So I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.